Well, it's only now that the dust is settling that shop owners across the capital are able to assess the cost of looting to them. In response, the Retail Trust has launched a fundraising campaign to compensate independent small shop owners, many of whom are facing financial ruin or, or even worse, have been left homeless. Well, joining me now is the Chief Executive of the Retail Trust, Nigel Rothband, and also the CEO of Superdrug, which has its headquarters in Croydon, Jeremy Siegel. Nigel, you first. Just tell me some of the stories that you've been hearing. Well, there have been some horrendous stories out there, as you can appreciate. Um, just two or three for you as an example. The first one is of a young lady who went to see their store manager to say that uh, they have no home. Their home had been firebombed and she just didn't know where to turn. Uh, another one about the uh, retailers themselves barricading themselves into their store, seeing the rioters outside, seeing them come through the front door and having to flee for their lives. Uh, we're seeing shopkeepers actually taking the law into their own hands, uh, signs of increasing vigilantism. Well, where do you stand on that? Is that to be encouraged? Well, I can completely understand and empathise with individuals who in some cases have built up businesses over generations, families involved in their businesses and they see them just going up overnight. But surely so this just increases the lawlessness? Well, as I was saying, I think it's really important to empathise with those people, understand completely how they're feeling. But actually, uh, you know, the police are there to, to keep the law, uh, and I think it's actually quite a dangerous precedent to set to have these people on the streets. Uh, very briefly, what about the insurance? I know a lot of your members will be poring over their insurance documents thinking that this is civil disorder that may not be covered. Can you settle that well, for us? Well, what are research tells us is that riot is covered but it's very very important that individuals look at their own particular policies and the other thing I would add um, is that uh, time is of the essence as well and people are encouraged to get their in insurance claims in very very quickly. Uh, let's talk to you now Jeremy if you wouldn't mind you are a, a big big company one of the biggest on the high street you've obviously been badly affected what role can you play in encouraging people back onto the high street? Superdrug it's a London based business our heart is in the south of London it's essential that retailers such as ourselves get back and open our stores for our customers and our people. And as beacons on the high street throughout London, from Croydon to Catford to Camden, we've got to get back in business quickly as a signal to everyone, let's get back to doing what we should be doing. I know a half dozen of your stores were looted in London. What were the products taken? How did it play out? Interestingly, in Woolwich, uh, we've just been able to gain access this morning, and the looters were very selective. They chose men's fragrances and hair products, so very specific. Thank you both for joining me this lunchtime.